Hey everyone, what's going on? So Yieldmax uh, declared their distribution just shortly, or actually during my uh, premiere video for my daily holdings. So I figured let me cover this uh, right before I start work. Because um, obviously after that, it's either lunch or after. So anyway, let's get to it. So here's the headline. Nothing over 100%, at least from the headline that shows, uh, Misty's pretty close, 95%. Tesla. Uh, 83%, Kony 75%, NVIDIA 64%, and Crash 61%. So for those of you that aren't aware, you can go to the website and sign up for these alerts. This is what you'll get. You'll get an email with the header and then all the details here below. But I'm not going to you know, cover it that way. I'm going to cover it via my spreadsheet. So here we go. Let's see how we did based on the estimate. Um, and where is it at? All right, so we got, and I'll keep the yield in the picture as well. All right, so let me zoom out just a little bit. Okay, so August for Tesla. Tesla is going to pay 96 cents, um, which, you know, I guess that kind of makes sense. My estimate was a dollar five, so that's, you know, 8% off. Uh, by the way, I should update this. Increase should be AP minus AO. Yeah, so one, one more thing. AP. So yeah, it's a, still a good payment for Tesla. I honestly, I, th I thought they could easily pay over a dollar. Obviously, I was wrong. All right, so yeah, they paid... Um, you know, 0 0.9661. Last month they paid a dollar. So this is a 3.73% decrease from the prior month. So 0 0.9661, what does that look like on the spreadsheet? Point nine six six one. That actually uh, has a NAV reserve of $1.34. That's pretty good because they made two thirty dollars this month. Uh, so the fact that they only paid out $0.96, cents, that means they actually left one thirty four, dollars you know, as reserve into the NAV. So that's pretty good. All right. Um, anyway, let's move on. OARC paid, uh, they announced they're going to pay $0.26. Cents. Oh, by the way, Tesla's yield is 83% based on that payment. OARC is $0.26. Cents. That's a 7% increase from prior month. Apley is $0.34. Cents. Uh, that's an 8% increase from the prior month. I actually missed it by 0.06%. Uh, well, if you round up, I got Apley right, you know, on the money. So it doesn't matter either way. They're yielding 24%. All right, so NVIDIA, this is obviously another one that I cover. They're going to pay $1.25. I thought they'd pay $1.40. Uh, based on the numbers that I saw, but a dollar twenty-five, that's almost a fifty percent decrease from the prior month, which sucks. But you know, it is what it is. It's still a sixty-four percent yield, which is pretty good. Um, but let's plug that number into one point two five one two. Plug it in right here. One point two five one two. See what it looks like. This is, yeah, so this is, well, obviously the NAV reserve is taking all income, so they took a synthetic loss, but if we look at it comparably to the short call income, they did not, I'm not, well, at least I'm showing, they did not pay all of the weekly income that they made. I know a lot of people always think, yes, they, they will pay it, and sometimes I do as well, and I thought they would this month, but they, they did not. Uh, they made a dollar thirty-seven per share in weekly call income, but they paid a dollar twenty-five. Still pretty damn good, though. It's hard to be upset with a sixty-four percent yield. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, Amzi is paying forty-seven cents. I mean, I would have liked to think they would pay sixty-five. I was way off. Forty-seven cents is only a thirty percent yield. Very disappointing for Mamsey, to be honest. Um, you know, that's one of my uh, core holdings, one that I trust. However, um, kind of a letdown, man. I thought they would do much better than that. Uh, Phoebe is going to pay 79 cents, uh, you know, sort of in line with what I thought. That's a 12% increase from the prior month. 52% yield, so good job, Phoebe. 
GUI is going to pay 49 cents. Um, you know, I guess another one I got pretty damn close, actually. Um, go figure, of course, the ones I don't cover. Um, but that's a 6% increase from last month and it's 38% yield. So GUI is yielding better than AMSI, really. Nefli, man, Nefli. Again, another one I own that I, I guess my, um, this one I'm wrong, but at least the right direction. Nefli is going to pay 57 cents. That's a 52% increase from the prior month. That's a 43% yield. Kony, obviously another one that I cover. Uh, they're going to pay a dollar. I thought they'd pay much more. I thought they'd pay a dollar 30. However, the recent dip may have been involved in the decision of what they're going to pay. You never know. Uh, but either way, they're going to pay. So it's 1.0061. 1 1.0061. If we go to the payment tab, we plug that in. 1.0061, right? So that'll obviously, uh, you know, they did not make money. So essentially, it's not, there's no NAV reserve. It's actually a NAV, you know, a debit of 301 total because they lost 201 per share, then they paid out a dollar. So it is what it is. You know, there's good months and there's bad months. All right, let's go back to the distribution list. Um, moving on, DISO is going to pay 39 cents. That's a 7% increase from prior month, almost a 30% yield. MSFO is going to pay 40 cents. Uh, that's a 5.25% increase from prior month. So that's pretty good, 25% yield. Zomo, um, 34 cents. That's an 81% increase from the prior month. Um, so that's pretty damn good. Um, you know, I got pretty close on that one as well. That's a 23% yield. JPMO, again, these two are always, you know, typically letdowns, but they did pretty good. 37 cents for JPMO. That's a 68% increase from the prior month. AMDY, this is always a hard one to guess. Uh, they're going to pay 43 cents. I thought they'd do better though. Um, but that's a 37% a yield. PP, this one let me down, man. 35 cents, really? If we scroll to the right, you know, they made at least, what, 70 cents per share. Um, their implied volatility is 40 cent, 40%, but they're only going to pay 35 cents, which is a 25% yield. That's a letdown, man. I don't know what happened, but again, I don't track the numbers on PP, so it is what it is. Squee, 63 cents. That's a decrease from the prior month, 8% decrease, but still a 44% yield. Mernie is a 46 cent payment. That's a decrease of 4%, but still a 49% yield. AIYY, they're gonna pay 35 cents. Did I skip one? No, 35 cents. That's a decrease of 10%, but still a 42% yield. MSTY, everyone always waits for this one, $1.94. I'm surprised they didn't just make it $2, man. I thought they just put it like just above two bucks, but they didn't. Either way, uh, that's a yield of 94%. But let's plug it in the spreadsheet. 1.9405. So if we go to Misty. one point nine four zero five. All right, so if we plug that in, obviously they made 20 cents for the month, 20 cents per share. They paid $1.94, so that's a NAV hit essentially of $1.74. But if anyone can afford it, it's certainly Misty. All right, let's go, com let's complete this uh, journey here. But again, a 94% yield for Misty, that's really good. It's not where we're used to, but it's really good. Ybit is gonna pay 67 cents. That's a 44% decrease from the prior month. That's kind of surprising, but it's still a 59% yield. Crash is going to pay 84 cents. That's a 3% increase uh, from the prior month. This is the inverse of Tesla one. Uh, obviously, it's essentially the opposite of Tesla, but it's a 60% yield. Uh, so Tesla is yielding uh, more than Crash. Moving on to GDXY, 57 cents. That's a decrease of 27% from prior month. Uh, so not that great. 38% yield. Snowy is going to pay 78 cents. Uh, that's a 16% decrease from the prior month. 54% yield. ABNY, Airbnb. Look at that, man. I got that one on the money. Obviously, you know, all luck, of course, right? Uh, 79 cent payment. That's a 53% uh, yield. And last but not least is Fiat. They're going to pay $1.89. This is the largest yielding one. Uh, they're going to pay essentially a 104.6% yield. So that's pretty, 
pretty damn good. Now, the question is, are we at house money? Are we at house money for NVIDIA, right? They paid, oh my God, they paid exactly what they needed for house money. Let's see if my uh, calculation is gonna update itself or I have to fix it. Scroll to the left, yeah, it's not updating. So it's taking V5 divided by C5. C5 is and V5. So V is total distribution, which stops at A02. We need to move it to AP2. Okay. Give me one second, guys. Boom, 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 boom. And then we'll drag this down. Sorry. All right, right there, paste it. Okay, so now, who is playing with house money? Scroll over to the beginning. Look at that, NVIDIA is 100% house money. Tesla is 62%, so they're getting there. Oh my God, really, Coney? You couldn't, pay, they didn't pay the dollar 25, did they? Remember, I, my, I don't remember my, my original uh, estimate was, but it was, I think it was below a dollar twenty five, and I changed it. I'm like, you know what? They're gonna pay it because they're gonna be house money. But now, guess what? Coney is not house money. Coney only paid a dollar. All they had to do was pay a dollar twenty five, and they, they'd be a hundred percent house money. But they're not. They're at ninety nine percent house money. Such a shame. Misty is at sixty five percent house money. All right, so the end result of house money, Nvidia is the champion. As I always say, they're the goat, and this just proves it. They have now paid 100% of their distributions back. If you, Had you invested in NVIDIA from day one, you would make back 100% of your original investment. You gotta love it, man. So everything you're playing with now is house money. I bought it a little after that, so I'm not playing with house money yet, but I'm getting pretty damn close. All right, guys, so that's the update of the distribution. Obviously, um, let me know what you think in the comments. Are you let down? If we just look at the yields, though, who, who's the winners, right? So Tesla, 83%, that's pretty, pretty good. NVIDIA is 64. Phoebe, 52. Nefli, 43. Coney, 75. Um, Squee, 44. Mernie, 49. AIYY, 42. Misty is 94%. Ybit 59%, Crash 60%, Snowy 54%, ABNY 53%. But Fiat is the real winner here, 104%. So Fiat and then Misty and then Tesla, those are the top three. So good job. Um, so I think overall, after a terrible month, you know, these are still pretty damn good uh, payments that we got going. But let me know in the comments what you think. Are you let down or is it as expected? Um, are you buying or selling anything? Because you do have today till end of close today to buy any of these funds in order to qualify for the distribution because tomorrow is ex dividend date. All right. As always, none of this is financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. So hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you were entertained. If not, we'll try again next month. And uh, of course, as always, if you enjoy the content, hit the like button. All right, guys, I got to go to work, uh, but I hope you guys enjoy your day later.